Welcome back to Dropedia Tutorials. Today I'm gonna teach you how to draw Captain Marvel. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, sharpie, or crayon. Now I'm gonna pick the middle point of her hairline and draw an arch curve line to the right. Turn it downwards diagonally with a curve line. Same is gonna turn to the right at that corner. Sharp turn back upwards. On the left side of that hair, I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards in the middle point right here. Flare it back slightly outwards. On the left side of that, another curve line downwards. Flare it back outwards at this lower point and upwards. At the outer corner on the right, I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line to the middle point and to the left. Turn it downwards. Another similar diagonal line below that. Sharp turn to the right. Same skill turn upwards at that corner. At the outer corner of that shape, I'm gonna draw a curve line out. Turn it downwards. And on the right side of that, a curve line upwards. Same skill turn diagonally to the left and slightly upwards. Extend that curve line all the way to the top of her head. Turn it to the left and arch curve line to the middle point and turn it back downwards at the upper corner. Curve line downwards in the middle of her head right there. For the left side of the hair, I'm gonna draw from the middle of her hairline another arch curve line to the left, turn it diagonally downwards. Now on the right side of that line, I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards for the shape of her face. Turn it diagonally inwards towards her chin, curve line across at the chin and turn it back diagonally upwards on the right side of her face. Now for her hair on the left, I'm gonna continue that diagonal curve line downwards, flare it out, same as you could turn inwards with a curve line at that corner, sharp turn back upwards with another curve line, and turn it back to the right at the upper corner. On the right side of that shape, I'm gonna draw at this lower point a curve line upwards, same as you could turn to the right and to the side of her face. And at the outer corner of that piece of hair on the left, I'm gonna draw a curve line upwards at that point, all the way to that point, and from the middle of her hairline, I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line upwards to the left. Same as you could turn back downwards diagonally. Extended line downwards and out. Curve line downwards. Curl it inwards to the right. Sharp turn back outwards and curve line back upwards to the middle point of her hairline. Right there. From the middle point of her head above, I'm gonna draw another arch curve line to the left. Turn it diagonally downwards all the way to the side of that piece of hair right there. Now I'm gonna draw her eyebrow with a line downwards in the middle of her face off center on the right right there. Turn it diagonally upwards with curve line to the outer corner on the right, curve line across to the right. Another similar set of curve line across at this upper corner, right there. And below that, I'm gonna draw her eye with arch curve line across from the inner corner. Curl it upwards at the outer corner of the eye. Thicken the outer corner of the eye, right there. For the lower line of her eye, I'm gonna draw curve line across from the inner corner. Turn it diagonally upwards at the outer corner on the right. Inside of the eye, I'm gonna draw her pupil with semicircle line in the middle point right there. 
And inside of that, I'm gonna draw a small circle on the top right corner and a black circle in the middle point. I'm gonna copy the whole eye shape on the left side. At the inner corner of her left eye, I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards, right there. And for the tip of the nose, I'm gonna draw a U curve line across in the middle point, below the eye, right here. Curve line downwards on both the left and right side of the nose. Below that, I'm gonna draw her mouth with curve line across at that corner. And from the corner of the mouth, I'm gonna draw diagonal curve line upwards for the upper lips to the middle point, turn it downwards in the middle and mirror the same shape of the lips on the right side right there. For the lower lips, I'm gonna take the same corners at the side and draw a diagonal curve line downwards and to the middle point, curve line across in the middle point, turn it back upwards on the right side. Below her head, I'm gonna draw her neck with curve line downwards on the left corner. Turn it diagonally out to the left and downwards. And from the side of the neck, I'm gonna draw a line across to the right. Turn it downwards. Mirror that same shape on the right side right there. And I'm gonna extend that diagonal line from the right downwards to the left. And on both sides of her collar, I'm gonna draw circular shape at that corner. Now at the ending point on the left, I'm gonna draw a curve line across to the left. Same as turn diagonally to the lower point. Sharp turn to the right at that corner. And on the right side of that, I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line. Sharp turn diagonally upwards to the right. Turn it diagonally down to the right and turn it back upwards. Sideways to the right. Sharp turn diagonally upwards. Turn it to the right and upwards. Curve line across to the middle point on the left. From that point, I'm gonna draw lines to each of the corners right there and right there and in the middle point right here curve line across to the corner on the right right there another curve line across to that corner from the right side of the shape i'm going to draw a curve line across to the right turn it upwards repeat that same shape again at this lower point and on the right and below that, I'm gonna draw another curve line across right there. And at that ending point, I'm gonna draw a line downwards across to the right, curve line upwards at that corner. And I'm going to trace that same set of line at this upper corner. At that ending point, I'm gonna draw her shoulder with curve line outwards to the right same as could turn downwards. Extend that line slightly downwards, sideways to the left, and turn it diagonally upwards. Turn it upwards. At that ending point, I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line across to the left, right there. At the ending point on the right, turn it upwards. Turn it diagonally upwards to the left. Slightly above that, I'm gonna trace the same line again. Turn it sideways in the outer corner on the right. Below that, I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape at that corner. And below the shoulder pad, I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards for the outer line of her arm. And for the inner line, I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards on the left corner. Turn it outwards at the lower point. On the right side of that, I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards. 
semicircle turn outwards at the elbow point and at that ending point I'm gonna draw an arch curve line across turn it diagonally downwards on both sides and at that corner I'm gonna draw a semicircle line and another one at the outer corner on the right diagonal line across on both ending points at the sides continue the lines of her arm diagonally out to the right curve line downwards at that ending point and on the right side of that I'm gonna draw her finger with curve line upwards semi could turn to the right and turn it back downwards copy that same shape for the other fingers on the right side right here same as the turn diagonally to the left curve line across to the left same as the turn upwards at that corner on the left side of that at this lower point curve line across now for her thumb above the fingers I'm gonna draw at the outer corner on the right diagonal line across to the left curve line across to the left semi turn downwards on the left side of her arm I'm gonna draw a curve line diagonally to the left and downwards semi turn downwards on her waist curve line across to the left curve line upwards on the left corner And at this upper point, I'm going to draw a curve line out. Same as you could turn diagonally back to the side of her hair on the left. For the pattern in her outfit, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards at the side of her arm right here. Turn it outwards at this lower point. On the left side of that, in the middle point, I'm going to draw a diagonal curve line to the left and downwards. Same as you could turn sideways to the left turn it upwards and repeat the same curve line across back out at this upper corner at the ending point on the left I'm going to draw inside of that shape a line downwards on the left side of that I'm going to draw a curve line out to the left semi turn downwards all the way to that curve line Repeat that same curve line again on the right corner right here and at the side I'm gonna draw a few curve line downwards like that continue that curve line across at this lower section and another one at this corner right here and from the side of her waist, curve line across to the left, same as turn downwards. Repeat that same line again on the lower point right here. And in the middle of her outfit, I'm gonna draw from the top, curve line downwards, all the way to her waist. And from the side of her waist, I'm gonna draw curve line downwards, flare it slightly out. Semi could turn back inwards diagonally at this lower point. Curve line across to the right. And on the right corner, curve line upwards. An arch curve line sideways. And another one above that. And curve line upwards. Semi could turn to the side of her waist. Inside of that shape, I'm gonna draw some curve line across. Like that. And below that, on the right, I'm gonna draw the outer line of her leg with curve line downwards and inwards towards her ankle point. The line downwards below that, diagonal curve line out to the right, turn it back inwards and curve line downwards at that point. For the inner line of her leg, I'm gonna draw curve line downwards from the middle point turn it slightly inwards towards her knee point and on her knee point I'm gonna draw a curve line diagonally out turn it downwards a line downwards below that curve line across 
below that ending point, turn it diagonally to the right and downwards, turn it back upwards and sideways to the right. Trace that same set of line at this lower point. For the inner line of the boots, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards on the left corner. Extend it slightly downwards, sideways to the right, turn it upwards, sideways to the right, turn it back downwards, sideways to the right, turn it upwards at the outer corner on the right right there, diagonal turn upwards and to the left, turn it upwards and diagonal turn to the right. On the right side of that, I'm going to draw lines across at that corner, another one below that, and another one right there. For the pattern inside of that shape, I'm going to draw a long rectangular shape in the middle point right there. Trace the outline of that rectangular shape at the upper corner right here, and at the side on the right. Extend it downwards, same as the turn out to the right. Below that, I'm going to draw her foot on the left with curve line downwards. Turn it slightly outwards, same as the turn downwards. Curve line across to the right. Turn it back diagonally up to the right. And curve line upwards to the side of her foot. Slightly above the base of the foot, I'm going to trace that line at this front point and on the right side right here. For the pattern inside her foot at this upper corner on the right, I'm going to draw a line downwards, sideways to the right, turn it diagonally upwards and turn it upwards. Trace the same set of line at this inner corner right there. Now for her knee pad, I'm going to draw above the knee a line across, turn it downwards diagonally to the right, turn it downwards and curve line across to the left. Inside of the knee pad at the upper point, I'm going to draw from the upper corner, line downwards on the left, sideways to the right, turn it diagonally upwards on the right side. Trace that same set of line the inner corner along the edges right there. Above the knee pad on the left corner, I'm going to draw a diagonal curve line to the right and upwards. Curve line across and turn it back diagonally down on the right side. At the side of the knee pad, I'm going to draw some curve line across right there. Now on her thigh, I'm going to draw an arch curve line across, another one below that, and at the inner corner, I'm going to turn it diagonally downwards to the left. Above that pattern, I'm going to draw another curve line across at that corner, and three lines downwards below that curve line. Now for her left leg at the outer corner, I'm going to draw a line downwards flare it out with a curved diagonal line to her knee and on her knee I'm going to turn it outwards same as I could turn back to the right and below that a line across turn it diagonally upwards to the right and from both ending points at the side, I'm going to turn diagonally downwards to the right. And at the inner corner right here, same as we could turn at the calf downwards. At the upper corner of the boot, I'm going to trace the same line across. Turn it diagonally, turn it diagonally down to the left, sideways to the right and turn it diagonally upwards at that corner. At the back of the calf, I'm going to draw a curve line to the left and downwards, same as I turn slightly to the right. On the right side of that, I'm going to draw a curve line across at the upper corner right here, 
and at the outer corner of the boot at this lower point I'm going to align across align downwards at that ending point turn it sideways and turn it downwards above that I'm going to draw a long rectangular shape trace the outline of that rectangular shape this upper corner and on the right side all the way downwards above the boots at the inner corner I'm going to draw a curve line up turn it diagonally inwards to the right for the pattern of her knee pad I'm going to copy the same shape as her right leg And on her thigh, I'm going to draw from the outer corner, curve line across, turn it, same as a turn downwards at the inner corner, turn it diagonally to the right. Repeat that same set of line on the left side right here. At the upper corner of her thigh, I'm going to draw a curve line across right there. On the left side of her waist, I'm going to draw a curve line diagonally downwards to the left. Same as could turn downwards at that corner. Sharp turn upwards. Same as could turn to the right. On the right side of that, a curve line downwards. Sharp turn back upwards on the right corner. Same as could turn to the right. Slightly downwards. Curve it back up and curve it back to the right turn it upwards on the left side of her waist i'm going to draw a semicircle line across at that corner and for her left shoulder i'm going to draw a curve line out same could turn downwards another curve line downwards for the upper arms and at that corner turn it sideways to the left for the inner line of her arm Below that, curve line across to the right, same as turn upwards. At the ending point on the left, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards. Turn it sideways on both the upper corner and the lower corner. Curve line downwards at the ending point and another one at the outer corner on the left. A line across on both ending points. Continue the line of her arm outwards to the left. Curve line across at the ending point on the left right there and another one right there. A line across on both ending points and on the left side of that I'm going to draw a line out, turn it diagonally upwards, sharp turn diagonally down to the right, same as a good turn to the right. Continue that line across in between the two straps. And for her hand, I'm going to draw from the outer corner, curve line upwards, turn it diagonally to the right, and same as turn downwards. Repeat that same shape for the other fingers. Turn it downwards at the side, same as turn to the left. And below that, I'm going to draw a diagonal curve line to the right and downwards. Same as a turn downwards. Above that line, a short line at that corner. And that's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to drop your requests, suggestions or any other comments in the comment section below. See you next time!